All right, guys, let's talk about record safing a track. All right, so working in Pro Tools, sometimes we get something down that we really want to make sure we don't accidentally record over, especially when we're first figuring things out and, you know, you're still working on your whole workflow and everything. So we have this thing in Pro Tools called record safing or record safe mode for a track would be like the more... I don't know, technical way to say it, the more appropriate way to say it. But you can record safe a track. And basically what that does is it makes it so you're not going to accidentally record onto that track because you can no longer record enable that track. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It's really simple. Um, this video is going to be crazy short. So, you know, we have our record enable button right here. And so when we click on that, it usually blinks red and then the track is enabled to be recorded too. So... Um, basically what we want to do with record safe mode is make it so you can't accidentally do that. And so all you have to do is hold command if you're on a Mac and I believe it's control if you're on Windows and you just click on it. So I just clicked on it there and now you can see that it's kind of grayed out. Um, if I command click again you can see what it looks like normally, right? So command click. And now this track can't be accidentally recorded too because I can no longer click to try to record enable that track. Like I'm clicking right now and nothing's happening. So um, that's basically how you record safe a track. It's great if you have something down, you just want to make sure that you're not going to accidentally record to that track. So I think that's all there is to say about it really. Um, I hope this video wasn't too crazy short, but I have a feeling it might be. But um, yeah, record safe a track, either command or I believe control on a Windows machine, um, and then click, and that's it. And again, you can see if it's record safed just by how it looks, right? So not record saved, now it's record saved. So, you know, if you ever have that problem where maybe someone else records safe to track and you're trying to figure out how to be able to record enable it again, um, now you know. You just have to command and then click on it to reactivate it, and you're good. So I hope this helps someone out there. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And you know, as always, like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff YouTube people love. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you do want to support my channel more directly, I have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash Noise. And I do give my patrons additional content. So I think that's about it for this shorty, shorty, short, short, short video. Uh, I come out with new videos every Wednesday. And thank you for watching. Okay. My GoPro is not syncing with my phone, so I can't tell if I'm actually in the frame, and I'm just really hoping I am because I have this clip that holds the GoPro in place, and it blocks me from viewing the actual screen of the GoPro. So I'm just guessing, and that's why, like, one of my past videos, I was, like, super blue, and I, I couldn't – I spent so long – I don't know why I'm so bad at this, but I spent, like, a long time trying to – make myself not so like washed out and blue looking but I couldn't I just couldn't do it it was uh I gave up I was like well I'm not a visual person hopefully people won't judge me for it and um please don't judge me for it but I'm just hoping I'm in the screen right now